Marina Elena Salinas was doing a commencement speech at Cal State University Fullerton and during the speech she decided to honor some of the Hispanic students. Now she gave um, a larger commence commencement speech for a larger crowd of graduates and then she did a second speech for the communications department and those who uh, graduated with journalism degrees. Now her speech was well received until it became a little too Latino centric for some and blatantly anti-Trump. Now we have a video of uh, her speech and some of the hecklers in the crowd. You have to listen carefully, but take a look. They accuse us of misinterpreting something that a candidate said. Well, thanks to technology, thanks to technology, now we can prove that the candidate actually said what he or she said they didn't say. So thank God for technology. Well, imagine they blame us so much for so many things that now they're even blaming us, the media, for creating Donald Trump. Imagine that. Isn't that terrible? Well, we didn't, right? Who did it? I don't know. Who did it? But they're to blame. So I, I just want to close with telling you that, that I am in awe of you and that I admire all of you and that if you allow me to say a few words in, in Spanish, Estoy muy orgullosa de todos ustedes. Yo sé que muchos de ustedes están haciendo noticieros en español y yo les deseo lo mejor. Hay un futuro. Hay un futuro en este país. Yo tengo una beca que yo doy porque yo creo y yo pongo mi dinero en, en, en estos estudiantes y en esta juventud. Yo estoy muy orgulloso de ustedes. Y es algo especial en inglés porque one of the things that makes me lucky and that makes many of you lucky is speaking two languages. Isn't it wonderful to be able to be bilingual in my country in this country? So I am going to leave you because I know that you have your graduation, you're going to get your diploma, but if you allow me to do something that is very important right now, and I want to take a selfie with you. All right, so if you listen carefully, they were booing her when she said some negative things about Trump. Um, you could hear people say, get off the stage. One person even uh, called her trash. <laughs> Ironic. Yeah, so this is according to Denise De La Cruz, who's a writer for OC Weekly and was there. Um, and she, you know, d reported on what she experienced there. And it's kind of sad, not kind of sad, it's super sad, because you have to consider the fact that the student body of Cal State Fullerton is 40% Hispanic. So it's not like there's one or two you know, Spanish-speaking students that she's trying to reach out to. She's trying to reach out to a huge population of students that go there. She's an anchor at Univision. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, no, I, I was really saddened by this, too, because uh, we're, we're now in a climate where this kind of stuff happens. And, and I think she mentioned that later, too, yeah. that we're in this atmosphere. And it's true. I, I can't imagine that this would have happened even four years ago, six years ago, Certainly two not years when ago. That, not 50 years ago when you and I were in. Cool. Yeah, and th first of all, it's enormously disrespectful to the person speaking to begin with, no matter what you're doing, mm -hmm. whichever side you're on. Uh, but okay, you get past that. Um, like, what does she do? She like I, the, in the when I was reading the story before I watched the video, I thought that she started speaking Spanish first, mm -hmm. and then she spoke Spanish for a long time. And so a lot of the people were like, yeah, but 60% of us are not Latino and we don't understand Spanish. So at some point you got to speak English. But that's not what happened. Oh, she spoke no, for she spoke Spanish seconds. For like, yeah, half, for half a second. Who, who cares? I don't care what language you speak for 28 seconds. What difference does it make? Yeah. So, and she's reaching out to a significant portion there that is doing, by the way, media in Spanish. They just recently started a Spanish-speaking media outlet uh, in, the, in, in Cal State Fullerton. So... That's part of the reason she had she, done that. She's, she's an anchor for Univision. Yeah. They, her job, she does her job in Spanish. Yeah. It's probably not a good idea to shout, you know, terrible things to a person that might be able to employ you or make well, decisions about. Well, nah, probably the Trump supporters coming out of there not yeah. likely to get a job. But, but even what Univision. she said, even what she said about Trump wasn't that bad. I mean, I think about I think what she's the mildest thing I've yeah. ever heard. Can you imagine Elizabeth Warren's speech and how was, that would go down over also, there? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, I think she was wrong too. I mean, you know, the media did create Trump to some extent. Not totally. The, the media didn't make him say, "Let's build a wall and keep Muslims out," right? Mm -hmm. But the media fed, and as we all know, they put him on TV again and again and again, and laughed at him and thought he was a great guest and took him seriously. And the party drifted to the right and the right and the right, and then they sort of never. And, and what do you know? You get you get this. So, uh, but by the same token, I'll use this as an opportunity since she was speaking at her graduation. 
uh, the same applies. And, and enough, 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 enough of people on the left preventing centrist and right-wing people from speaking at your graduation. Mm -hmm. Tough shit. If you don't want to go, don't go. But what you should do is go and listen. And then afterwards, talk about how you hated it and why it yeah. was wrong. But you're not allowed to, you know, Chris Rock and Jerry Seinfeld, maybe it's changed, but they won't play colleges. That's insane. They won't play colleges because they're worried about offending people. You don't have a right not to be offended. People's, look, you don't get to invite, you, David Duke can't come and speak at your college. Yeah. There's right? a line. There's yeah. a line. But, 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 uh, but George Will gets to come to your college, and Jonah Goldberg gets to come to your college, and, and Tucker Carlson gets to come to your college. Yeah. And, no, I, know. I got it. I got it. But, you know, you don't, you, don't get to, you don't get to protest so that you shut down their speech. It's anti-American and it's hideous, just as it was hideous the way they treated this one. Yeah, I, I almost completely agree. So to me, there is a line between, and I know where that line is, the difference between Rumsfeld and Condoleezza Rice. Mm -hmm. I would go listen to Condoleezza Rice. I would uh, disagree. I'd shake my head throughout the speech, right? Like, ah, oh, but I wouldn't interrupt her. Uh, I wouldn't heckle her. I wouldn't call her trash, right? Uh, Rumsfeld and Cheney, I wouldn't go. I have no interest in Okay, what but there's a say. difference there. But even for Rumsfeld and Cheney, uh, I would organize the protest to let those people know and I would try to get thousands of people as a protest so he'd have to walk through that but I wouldn't for a second go to the administration and say you're not allowed to invite him. And you wouldn't you wouldn't be disrespectful as that person nope. is speaking. No, nope, I wouldn't. And yeah, I agree with you on that. I, I think so I, there's now we have a slight disagreement. I think that them saying I, I don't want this war criminal speaking uh, at my graduation. It's not like somebody else's it's my graduation, right? My, I think that's perfectly le legitimate. But if you lost that battle and he's speaking, I wouldn't go and interrupt it. No. I just think it's it's super important for us to hear each other out, even if it's a guy you can't stand. Yeah, hear that, him out. But it's okay. But then that means hearing those guys out, and it means protesting it. But it doesn't mean shutting them down. I just think yes, that's a big difference. That's so, right. So so that to me is you don't go and ask them not to come. You could say I can't believe you. You argue for somebody else to be invited. But if that decision's made, you protest, you hold up a sign, and believe me, if it's J.D. or Rumsfeld, you won't be alone with that sign like you at the stupid pro-war rally, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Back when I was in college. Not, you're not going to be alone at that, but we can't. They wouldn't let me speak at my own graduation. We can't shut people, uh, we can't <laughs> shut people down, that's yeah. not what And that. in this case, now it's happening in reverse. So right-wingers, right Trump supporters yelling at this woman because she just tiny bit tweaked Donald Trump. And it's it's an ugliness, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't do that on either side, and and we've now created this climate uh, partly out of what are already existed on college campuses, partly because Trump has normalized this kind of behavior, and it's just ugliness all around. Some of those guys were uh, throwing chairs. I think. Yeah. No, Ben, they weren't throwing <laughs> chairs. They were brandishing chairs. <laughs> brandishing, brandishing chairs has uh, become like the funniest phrase ever. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Good sir, put down that chair. <laughs>